Welcome to RPA Hub. In this video, I will walk you through about Robot Framework Introductions. I will give you each and every steps detail about Robot Framework. So basically, we are starting with complete playlist of Robot Framework where you can find it out each and every concept are explained. So if you are interested to watch the complete sessions, consider subscribing to the channel so that whenever we will upload a new content on Robot Framework, you will get notified. So today's agenda is brief introduction of our robot framework, history, architectures, advantages, key driven and practical sample. So without wasting time, let's move to the further content. Robot framework is a generic open source automation framework. It can be used for test automation and robotic process automation. Robot Framework is actively supported with many industry leading companies using it in their software development. Robot Framework is an open and extensible and can be integrated with virtually and other tools to create powerful and flexible automation solutions. Being open source also means that Robot Framework is free to use without licensing cost. Robot Framework has easy syntax utilizing human readable keywords. Its compatibility can be extended by libraries implemented by Python or Java. The framework has a rich ecosystem around it consisting of libraries and tools that are developed as separate projects. Robot Framework project is hosted on GitHub where we can find it other further documentations, source code and issue tracker downloaded and hosted at PYPI. So Robot Framework is a test automation framework designed for acceptance testing and acceptance test driven development that is ATDD. It is a keyword driven testing framework that uses tabular test data syntax. Python based open source test automations and RPS ecosystem. Again, I'm saying Rope framework is used as a base model for creating some of the RPA tools or open source RPA tools. Rope framework is a generic open source automation framework. It can be used for test automation and robotic process automation. Test cases are written using keyword testing methodologies written in tabular format. These tables can be written in plain text, tab separated values that is TSV or restructured text format flies in any text editor or using the robot integrated development environment that is write. Write simplifies writing test cases by providing framework specific code completion, syntax highlighting, etc. So how it is discovered? Robot framework is originated from Nokia Siemens network as a way to unify end-to-end -end software test automations. Robot framework is an operating systems and application development. The core framework is implemented using Python and also runs on Jython that is JVM and Iron Python that is .NET. The basic idea of robot framework were shaped in Pekka, Clack's master thesis. Robot framework itself is an open source software release under Apache license 2.0 and most of the libraries and tools in the ecosystems are also open source. The framework was initially developed at Nokia networks and was open sourced in 2008. Development started in 
beginning of 2005 but first published as a open source project in 2008 under apache 2.0 license rover framework foundation established in 2015 by users and core team members robocon conference hosted since 2018 now this is a high level architecture about robot framework so the test data is a simple easy to edit tabular format when we are using write there are bit uh, different syntax is available that is also using in python and other tool so when robot framework is started it is a process the data execute test cases and generate logs and report the core framework does not know anything about the target under test and the infraction with it is handled by libraries libraries can be either use application interfaces directly or use lower level test tool as drivers then finally the target system which we are doing the complete automation or the development pieces so what are the advantages of uh, using robot framework so robot framework is having multiple advantages like interactive reports so we are able to see reports and we don't want to create it uh, then it is inbuilt feature is available where after running our execution report we will find it out interactive report summary that is uh, how many cases are failed how many cases are passed and percentage all these are details with the complete details will be available in our maybe we can call it in email box or we can check it from the folder supports keyword driven behavior driven and data driven so as i said in initially robot framework supports keyword driven behavior driven and data driven testing methodologies then multi framework this tool is used on different places so that's the reason it will be and the different languages as well so there is no issue we can use it with the any supportable language it's easy to install open source again a very good advantage of using robot framework we don't have to pay for the license then supports external libraries which we are using in robot framework so as i said it's keyword driven uh, syntax so you can find it out syntax is also very easy let's say if you are opening a browser to login page uh, you have to enter uh, input username so this is a component and this is a data so input password again this is the value submit credentials it means uh, on login button or click button will be there and welcome to the open page and the close browser it means we are closing the script so this is a very simple and it's user friendly we can create syntax like this now rf slack community is having around 8129 members definitely is going to be increased because this slide is um, one week old so weekly active members are 444 where you can get solution as soon as possible then um, public channels are also there that is 149 and active members strats you can see it on the forum so it's bit easy to use it if you found any difficulties while scripting or if you found any difficulties while taking logs or anything you can reach out to the community members they will resolve as soon as possible now acceptance testing so because robot framework is used for the acceptance testing criteria we have to understand how and where we can use it in user acceptance testing so there is a business needs you can find it out here in the business perspective in the business perspective you can see it here the business well rules will be defined and these are integrated with the development and functional analyzed so these uh, business rules are definitely going to be captured on the um, uh, developer sides and the functional uh, sides as well so acceptance criteria 
is defined by all three teams and test cases will be created by the testing teams or even for the uh, unit testing perspective developer can create the unit testing or uh, test cases then finally this will move to the robot framework where we are creating our script and finally post creating all this system under test will be verified so this is how the structure looks like when we are doing the acceptance testing now when we call it keyword driven keyword driven is basically you can see here application functional keywords then robot framework that is inbuilt keywords the libraries like a database ssh selenium then desktop library then we do have several other libraries like excel libraries uh, then data driven libraries which we can use it for ease of use and for automating your or automating our project we do have to create a let's say one example here if you want to create an order or if you want to place an order from some e-commerce site we do have to select the product id or the number which we are placing in an order then this will again go to the init database that will check the order is available or not if the product is available then navigate to the order screens then select product product id click on create button and check database contain sql data so basically it will open browser login with the username and password then click and these all steps will be followed unless and until uh, the order will not place this will not execute uh, uh, the running of the cases so this is one example which we can uh, see that uh, the complete flow of robot framework which can be automated now prerequisites of uh, using robot frameworks are uh, required robot framework um, applications to be installed in our system pip wx python write selenium library and browser packages so in next sessions we'll definitely discuss about how to install this in our particular uh, uh, system and um, i will show you with practical demo the complete installation steps in further part of video so if you like this session consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates thank you for watching